Hey loves, it's Mahogany and I'm back with another video. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what my experience was like dating your Zodiac. Yes, that this is not gonna be a very serious video because I wanted to do something a little more lighthearted with so much going on in the world right now. And I just wanted to say some words. I'm just very proud of my people that are sticking together, that are really standing up for something. Just letting it be known that we have had enough and it's over. Those days are gone. Those days are of turning the cheek are gone. Those days are over. We do have a right to be protected. We do have a right to be treated as humans. We do have a right not be scared when somebody that takes an oath to protect the community comes. We should not be nervous when we see them. We should feel like, okay, somebody is gonna come and come and protect and be fair by us. We do deserve fair treatment. So yes, black lives matter, the black dollar matters, black people matters. And I'm just happy that we are standing and sticking up together. I do wanna say that I, those black owners that were caught up in the crossfire, I do wanna say that I deeply feel for you guys and I pray that your business does recover after if it was affected i do say that i do pray for that but i also understand a lot of people's frustration and anger during that time and not all of those people that were protesting were a part of that portion and not all of the looting was black lives <laughs> so i'm gonna need a lot of people to understand that too that was not just us so I'm gonna need a lot of people to realize and open their eyes about that. Stop trying to say, but that's a whole nother topic. So yeah, I just wanted to say that for us. I just wanted to say that I am with us. I am proud of us. I'm glad that we're sticking up and standing up for something and Black Lives Matter. Back to the video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what my experience was like dating your zodiac sign because if you looked at my book video then you know that i used to love reading about horoscopes i don't know why ever since i was younger i just always been interested in it and i just decided to make a video on why or what i thought about each sign that i dated what my experience was and just a small analogy on it zodiac signs and horoscopes they don't determine how your life is gonna unfold, who you're gonna be with, what ends up happening. It does not 100% determine that. But I just think that it's very interesting how some of the characteristics that you read can really be similar to somebody's personality. So I thought that was really funny and cool. And I just decided to make a video on what my experience was with each horoscope or zodiac sign. We're gonna start with Aries since Aries starts out the horoscope circle or whatever the horoscope chart, it starts it out. And I myself, I'm an Aries, so we are gonna kick this thing off. And like I said, this is my experience. Your experience may be different. And if it is, please let me know how your experience is with whatever sign you wanna comment on. Let me know if it's similar. Let me know if it's completely different. Definitely let's have some comments. Let's have some interactions in these comment box. And don't forget to like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join the tribe because all of that helps me here on this crazy world of YouTube. And why not? <laughs> all right. so. Let's go. So my experience with an Aries. So it was fun. It was sweet. A lot of laughs, a lot of dates, love to go on dates. Definitely spontaneous, love to do like last minute getaways. We did that a lot, so that was pretty cool. So the conversations were good, cool conversations. Talked about a lot of different things. Also, like you can go months without talking to an Aries. And whenever y'all do reconnect, it's like, you didn't miss a beat. Like you just straight back, straight back to the same thing. They were very generous to the ones that they care about. Definitely about their business. Any areas I've met have been about their business, at least had a couple of hustles going on. About two jobs or two jobs or more. They can definitely be your friend and your boo. Like they know how to separate the two. They know how to give you good sound friendship advice from a friend level. And then they also know how to turn around and be someone that you're romantically involved with. 
But I never had any real commitment from an Aries. They never really um, like to commit to one thing, fully commit to one thing. They're not really good at expressing their feelings or articulating what they really feel inside. So that can really make them miss out sometimes because if you don't tell somebody how you feel, then they don't know all the time. So yeah, they had a problem with expressing because when they want you, you probably don't want them no more. Whenever they feel like expressing how they feel about you, you probably done moved on. So yeah, that was my experience with an Aries. But it was really funny, like really, really funny. I had fun, but it was like more, couldn't take them serious like that. All right, so Taurus, my experience with a Taurus, he was very sweet gentle kind compassionate reliable selfless thoughtful a natural provider they do things that you don't even ask they do things without you having to ask like he would take out the trash see the trash he'd take out the trash go take my car to get clean like do just the nicest thoughtful things for me like really really good with his hands wanted to do things with his hands wanted just a real man's man um out of all the signs i felt i felt more safe with the taurus i felt more safe with him and out of all the signs i could see myself marrying him out of everybody he's the only one that i could see a future with i could really see it and i want like you know i would have been oh definitely saw myself committing fully to my taurus Definitely don't ask for much. Loves nice things, loves nice things, but very hard workers. So they're gonna work hard for what they need, what they want. Family, family people have a lot of friends. He speaks about them because that means that they know how to be a good friend. He wasn't very spontaneous, but like I said, he made me feel the most safest. So I noticed like as growing up, as you grow up and become a woman or become a mature, adult you do want to be more safe more than fun you know all that craziness it's cool but it ain't nothing like knowing that you feel at home like i just felt at home definitely a hubby sign definitely a hubby. but but on the flip side of a taurus stubborn stubborn oh my goodness if they feel like something is right oh baby they feel like it's right. They'll, they'll argue you for sure. Like, yeah, they right. Can be a little sensitive sometimes. They can be a little sensitive. They don't like to admit it. They don't like to admit it, but they definitely can be a little sensitive sometimes, but it's all good. They're good, definitely outweighs their bad. So that is a Taurus. Gemini, my experience with a Gemini. I have not experienced a Gemini yet. I want to though, I really want to. I hear that they love to have intelligent, deep conversations. So I kind of want to see what kind of deep, what kind of intelligent, I'm curious, cause I love to talk. So I want to see exactly what it is about them. If you guys have experienced a Gemini, drop down in the <laughs> comment box and let me know how that experience was. Are they really two-faced? Let me know. Cancer, I have not experienced a cancer yet either. I hear they are sensitive. They can be very, very emotional. Is that true? I don't know. I've never encountered a cancer man. I haven't. Oh so yeah, let me know how that was too, guys. So Leo's, Leo. <laughs> so Leo's are love bombers. Like they shower you with love. They shower you with attention. They shower you with gifts. They shower you with compliments all of that in the very beginning so yes they're very charming they're very charismatic definitely all of that they will be your biggest fan leos love to brag on their mate or brag on anything about anybody that they love and care about leos love to brag on them so of course they're going to be bragging on you especially if you're doing something that they like or that they they can see, they can believe in, they definitely gonna support you to the max. Very protective of their loved ones. If they love you and they care about you, they definitely gonna be protective over you. They not gonna let nobody talk about you when they ain't around, if they really, really care about you. Comedians, so funny, funny, funny sign of date. Love to dress nice, love to shop. Probably the best dress sign are Leo's. 
aggressive. They can definitely be very manipulative and use their good that they have. They use it for bad because they want to make things their way. Um, they like things their way or no way. They don't want any part of it. If it's not going the way that they want it to go, they out. They can be very moody, can be very insecure, especially if they aren't happy about where they are in life. They can be an energy sucker. They can suck your energy if they aren't happy about themselves because they will mope around a lot. It stems from their insecurity because they like outside validation. They will never admit that though, but from what I've seen from Leos, they definitely like the outside or maybe they just don't feel good about themselves in the inside but they want people on the outside to say a leo that i dated they always asked what you think about me what you think like always ask me that and i'm like why are you always asking me that they're a cool vibe but they can be toxic so definitely proceed with caution you gonna have fun but you gonna be in some shit for sure all right, Virgo, we gonna move to the Virgos. Virgo men, my experience with a Virgo man, they love the chase, they love to pursue you. So he loved just chasing me, just chasing me, chasing me, chasing me. Like they'll chase you for about two, two years and they still, that's really how long they chased me for two years. Very generous will spoil you. Like definitely the type, if you like, hey, babe, should I get these or should I get this color? I don't know. And they be like, just get both of them. Like you rarely will hear no from a Virgo man. So if you want to be spoiled, definitely a Virgo man will spoil you. Very thoughtful, pays attention to detail. If you say, I really like this or I really need this, next thing you know, you come home and there it is, like they'll have it for you. So they always remember little stuff. A natural provider will take care of you. You don't have to worry about anything when you're with them. They will make a, a great husband or a great family man. Do not play about their children. Like if a Virgo has a kid, they will take care of their kids to the end. One thing about a Virgo, they do not play about their children. They are gonna be taking care of they, their kids. Don't have to worry about anything. But they have a lot of good qualities, but you better know they got some bad ones. <laughs> they will cheat, baby. They will cheat. Will cheat on something real quick. And they will try to lie, but they are not good liars. Like Virgos are not good liars. And it's so funny. Like you will always catch, I will always catch him in his lies. Like he was a horrible, horrible liar. If y'all want some story times on my experience with, some, with a Virgo, let me know what story times y'all want. Cause I got a lot with this person. <laughs> So yes, he he was not a good liar. Leos are good liars. Virgos are not good liars. I think it's good just because they just like naturally honest people. So when they try to lie, it's like, yeah, so he was not a good liar. But if he can grow, if a Virgo man can grow out of that little cheating and lying part and get over that line and grow out that cheating, he could be a really good partner. For sure, he could be a real good partner. So a mature Virgo man would be a good partner. He was a little flashy, which is weird because most, a lot of Virgos, they don't like to be seen like that, but he was a little flashy. So I thought that was kind of weird, but anyway, Libras. My experience with a Libra, it was very brief, guys. It was a very brief, short experience, but he was real sweet. He was real nice. He loved to have a wide variety of conversation. Like we talked about music, art, money, growing wealth politics, we talked about fashion, travel, family, goals. We had a wide variety of knowledge about things. It was very short lived because he let me know that he was looking to marry. He was dating to marry, he wasn't just dating to date. And at that time, I ain't know no better. So I ain't know no better. So, <laughs> so it scared me, it scared me away a little bit. So I kind of like stepped back and it made him back up. And it was what it was because he knew what he wanted. He know like Le something about Libras, they know what they want. And I can respect that. Like I really, really respect that. So yes, it was very short lived with a Libra, but he was really, really cool and really, really smart. Now we are gonna move to Scorpio. Yes. My experience with a Scorpio, 
funny. Oh my goodness, it was so funny. It can be your homie and your lover. Like y'all can definitely split the two. You can go pull up to the wing spot, get some wings in your PJs or go grab some Mexican out the little food truck at two in the morning on some chill stuff. And then you can still go out, the, out of town with them. It's a whole vibe with a Scorpio. You definitely gonna have fun. They're very smart, hardworking wise like they really do have a lot of wisdom even like younger ones they are goal oriented about their goals but they're gonna set some stuff into place and they're gonna work towards it and they definitely don't like to be around a lot of people that's not gonna if you're not contributing anything to their goals or if they don't see where you fit they they don't surround themselves with a whole lot of fluff like some people can have fillers in their life Scorpios, they don't mind cutting that off. But I could never get in a serious relationship with him. I don't know. I kind of, I think it was more so me. I think it was more me than him because he was, he was with it. But I was kind of very hesitant. But he was like really, really cool. So my experience with Scorpio, real, real cool. Definitely a vibe. Definitely a vibe. So funny. Like I love Scorpios in general though. Like even I love Scorpios. I just love them. Sagittarius. My experience with Sagittarius, I haven't really experienced a Sagittarius, seriously. Um, one of them that I know, that I knew, that was trying to pursue me, he kind of turned me off because he was trying to, he thought his money impressed me and it would make me do whatever. He, and I wasn't with it. Like, just cause you got money does not mean sh to me. That's what you have. That don't mean that's what I have. That's not what you gonna give me, so. I don't care about how much money you got. What you gonna give me? Hey, what, how much money is this put in my pocket? You know, so yeah, I didn't really like that. He kind of rubbed me wrong with that trying to, because he got money, make whatever he want to move. I guess people had him spoiled like that, but I went with it. So maybe, maybe a Sag man is spoiled. What y'all think? Have y'all dated a Sagittarius man? Let me know down in the comment box. How was he? Was he toxic or was he a vibe? Let me know. <laughs> Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, we gonna move to the caps. Are they big cappers or are they? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So my experience with a Capricorn, it was a cool little vibe, really humble. Didn't like to do too much real low key wasn't flashy very family oriented definitely love their family big heart had a really really big heart would give you the shirt off their back really speak their mind but it does depend on who the person like if they don't feel like you would take it how you need to take it they just won't they're just they will speak their mind but they ain't trying to ruffle no feathers all kind of ways because they'll take it there <laughs> so we were better as friends Definitely better as friends. Sometimes your expectations when you're in a relationship and when you're friends, they are definitely very different. And it just makes it less stressful when you don't have expectations on the individual. Aquarius, oh, an Aquarius that I knew. So, oh, my first, oh yeah, my little first love, my little first boo-boo was an Aquarius. He was real, real sweet to me. He was real sweet, funny, funny, so, so funny. Very charming, like a protector, really protected me. I felt safe with him too. Like nobody gonna do nothing to me, nothing gonna happen to me. Like to laugh, love to have fun. Always got like a smile on their face, always with the shit. Like, <laughs> gonna have a good time with an Aquarius. Make everybody in the room have a good time. They don't like to be too emotional, but when they do, they can lash out in a way because they don't really like to get in their feelings. So when they get in their feelings, it's like they almost exploding. But then after they done with it, they done with it. Like they don't want to have no whole lot of, they have really good hearts though. So my experience with an Aquarius, it was cool. It was like a little sweet little, it was a cool little vibe. I don't know if I could date one now though, as an, as an adult, I don't know. These last but not least, Pisces. As y'all can see, that was stressful just to say. <laughs> No, for real. Last but not least, Pisces. They are the most intelligent signs now. They are very intelligent, very smart, very organized, very detailed. They're most likely to be wealthy. Like I think Pisces, Virgos, and Taurus, so those are the most likely signs to be wealthy for sure. So if you looking, y'all might want to link up with one of them. 
if you're trying to be wealthy. <laughs> very thoughtful, would do very thoughtful things for you. Like I said that I wanted a book one time. I don't know if y'all saw my book video. I said I was gonna do a story time on how I got this book. They gave me the book. At that time, I went talking to them and I came outside and the book was on my car. And I'm like, and they had like a little message in it. It was real sweet. Very supportive, will show up to things that you have. You invite them somewhere, they come in. Just anything, if you got something going on, you're their friend, they're definitely supportive. Always tells you great things about yourself, will boost your head, like tell you that you amazing. They like to have a good time, love to laugh, love to have fun. Your whole family will love this, will love them. If you got a Pisces, your whole family gonna love them, for real. <laughs> he gonna make some kind of connection with everybody. Everybody gonna connect to him in some kind of way. Him, he or she, well, I'm only talking about the male version because like, I date men, so I'm just talking about the male. Okay, very well connected, has so many friends. They know somebody everywhere. They have the most friends. We went on the best dates because everybody wanted to do favors for him. So we went on the best dates hands down. They are definitely control freaks though. They are definitely control freaks. That's why sometimes it can seem like they're indecisive, but they're not indecisive. What it is, they wanna control the whole and the narrative and the outcome. If they can't see the outcome, then it makes them very hesitant to move forward or pursue something. They can be emotional at times, for sure. They can be emotional and it can catch you off guard because you'd be like, I thought you was cool with that. You know, like, crazy. if they really, really vibe with you, then they'll open up. You will see their more goofy, silly, sensitive side. So, yeah, that's a Pisces. A Pisces in a, in a uh, nutshell are, they are nut bags. Nutty, nutty professor. Nutty professor is Pisces because they know what they want, but they don't know what they want at the same time. But anyway, <laughs> no shade to y'all though. No shade to y'all. I like Pisces though. Like I'm always real cool, cool friends with Pisces. Even like the girl Pisces. I like Pisces a lot. That wraps up my experience was with each horoscope. If you guys like this video, if you guys had a crazy experience with any different sign, let me know down in the comment box how that was. Let me know how it was. Let me know which signs that you would or would not even think about going anyway. way. <laughs> Let me know. Like this video if you like it. Comment, subscribe, join the tribe. And until next time, don't forget that you're beautiful. Peace.